guides to conscious entrepreneurs and spiritual seekers about creating a better life and a better business now. Building your own business is the most intensive personal and spiritual growth and development course you could ever enroll in. And that's why Michelle does the work she does for you. We're glad you're here with Michelle Barr on the Own Times Radio Network. Business success today. Welcome to my community. Whether you have been here a lot of times before or you are new, I am Michelle Barr, your sacred business success coach. And I have been traveling. I just got back from a huge event, my biggest of the year, in Las Vegas. And I have something to share with you that I launched there. And I have information for you that's been emerging that I've been working on since last year. So I'm excited to have you here with me. If you've listened to my show before, you know that I bring teaching and training and also powerfully practical and spiritually rich tools for you to use for your growth, for your success, and for your transformation. I'm excited to let you know that you can access all the archived shows at Ohm Times Radio Network. They've got them now on iTunes and they've got them on the website. And I was one of the first the original dozen that they brought in to launch this radio network. So I've been doing my show now for over a year. So let's get to it today and what we're talking about here. It's a big piece of this that kept showing up and I see it showing up in my clients and my colleagues and even my mentors from time to time. It's a really important piece. And to give you a little background, I'm a former mental health therapist, so I've studied a lot in human behavior and I did a lot of work around personalities and assessments with personalities and psychology, psychological types. And then when I moved into energy medicine, alternative healing, the intuitive healing arts, I also was working with these four basic energies that exist in nature, the four elements, the four seasons, the four energies And these apply to what's showing up in your world and affecting the money you're able to make and the success you're able to create. And I've really brought this together for you and have that for you here today. So I was in Vegas all last week at a big event, a big event for entrepreneurs that brings together about 700 entrepreneurs at this event, and entrepreneur wannabes, entrepreneurs in the making, people who are brand new, people who just have an idea, people who have a business that's kind of stuck in spinning, and lots of millionaires in the room, lots of solid six-figure business owners that can show you what's possible. It really helps to be around those people and to see what's possible, to see the things that people have pulled from inside of them and turned into a successful business. That's my greatest inspiration and what drives me to do what I do and to talk to you and to reach out to you is to impart to you that you have a completely unique combination that creates a unique contribution to the world. And when you lead with that, instead of branding a modality, instead of selling your minutes for dollars, and you bring all of you to the table, that's where your success lies. That's where people can hear your powerful story and know where you've been, the fires that you've walked through and where you are now and how you can help them. That is the power of a personality brand. It's the power of showing up in the marketplace. 700 people showing up in Vegas that week. And think about it. I really applaud them because there were a lot of people who were invited that did not show up. They had all kinds of excuses for why they couldn't get there. And they didn't get themselves there. Think about something right now where you need to show up, 
something you need to step into and it's not comfortable and it's not convenient and it's going to cost some money and there's some unknowns to it. And yet I left that week watching so many people having breakthroughs, ahas, insights, transformations. They will look back on that as changing their life. Only two years ago, I was sitting in the audience of that same event, and I was looking up at the stage, and I was wanting, desiring to be up on that stage, speaking to that kind of audience, sharing my message, being who I'm made to be. And there I was just two years later up on that stage, sharing that message. Two years ago, when I was sitting in that chair in that audience, I had been building and growing my business for a couple of years. I'd had some success. I'd had some big growth. I'd finally figured it out. And yet my business was spinning and it was stuck. I was chasing the five-figure month. I had created $8,000 in a day. I had created close to five figures in a month. I had learned to bring in that money, but it wasn't consistent. It went up and down. And I knew I needed consistent recurring income to keep that business sustainable and to make it profitable. My business had not yet made $50,000 in a year. In fact, I had never made $50,000 in a year in my life through work, through my business. I was able in the past two years from sitting in that audience that I got myself there. I wasn't even sure at that point. I've got a lot of expenses and the travel and how am I going to pay my hotel bill when I check out and I'm juggling all kinds of things. And that's part of being an entrepreneur. So just two years later, I had broken through that 50K barrier. I had doubled my income in 12 months. I had crossed the six-figure line, and I was now sitting in a very solid six-figure business. Those are the fires I've walked through. That's where I've come from. And what I found is it takes both the marketing to make it work and the mindset to make it happen. That's why I was at events like that. That's why I was at that event to learn proven strategies. That's why I had my own business coach to learn proven strategies. Then it's also that mindset. I teach people to show up, be you, and make money. And it's that money piece that really can throw us. Because either you start making the money or you're not making the money and it brings up all your stuff. It did mine and that's how I created this body of work to support you once you start creating that success that this stuff happens. When I was sitting in that chair two years ago, I had to do three things to turn my business and my life around. I had to show up. I had to make a decision and I had to take aligned action. A decision has not been made until an action has been taken. Really get that because I see that so much. I've decided, great, what actions have you taken? Well, I'm getting ready to get ready and getting ready and soon I'll be ready to get ready. Seriously. What decision do you need to make right now that you know? And what aligned action do you need to take right now that's sitting there and it's inconvenient, it's uncomfortable, it's going to cost money, it's illogical? What is it? And when will you be tired of being stuck and spinning in place? A lot of times people say, I don't know what to do next. And the truth is you do, and that's not what you want to do next. So you say, I don't know what to do next. 
when I was a therapist, there's a technique we use when people would say, I don't know. You ask them a question, they say, I don't know. And you're into their emotional and their mental stuff. And so one, you sit in silence and you hold that space. And the other thing you do is you say, you do know. And the other is you ask a question, and I use this in coaching too. Okay, if you did know, what would you know? And given the willingness and the right person doing this, holding space for that person, it will come bubbling up. You do know. You've got to show up, show up fully and support yourself 100%. You've got to make a decision, take aligned action. And then I had to keep doing that, rinse and repeat over and over again. To stand on that stage and speak in front of 700 people and launch this new body of work, I had to show up like never before. I had to be on that whole week. I had to be on on that stage. I had to make a decision. And I had to take aligned action. I had to make numerous decisions and take numerous aligned actions to show up there and be ready with everything I had with creating this body of work. So show up, be you and make money means showing up in the marketplace as you bringing all of you to the table. And that's what I teach people to do. And stay with me because when we get back, I have a free gift for you. And I'm going to tell you what I launched at the live event in Vegas last week. You can have it too. Connecting you with the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Are you wondering what is really going on behind the news? Check it out. Join your hosts, Yelito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland, on Share on the Air Radio for thought provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us on shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. Check it out. Spiritual, metaphysical, green living, psychic, alternative healing, life coaching, Do any of these or similar terms apply to your business or cause? If so, you are in a niche market with a very specific audience. ConsciousGate PR is the world's leading conscious public relations agency. With a global reach of over 4 million and growing, we offer comprehensive media campaigns to our targeted market. Learn more at ConsciousGatePR.com. Conscious Marketing for Conscious Minds. Medium Lisa Phoenix, Mediumship Messages and Musings, explores mediumship and all things metaphysical. Lisa Phoenix invites you to reach above and beyond your everyday experiences to explore new dimensions in the spirit world. She will do live readings to connect callers to their loved ones in spirit, shares engaging stories and teachings from her own personal experience, and will have intriguing conversations with other mediums, spiritual teachers, and healers to help you understand the metaphysical world so you can connect to these forces in your day-to-day life. Join your hosts on this magical and metaphysical journey into the world of spirit every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Feed your soul with waves of consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Hello, welcome back. This is Michelle Barr talking to you about my exciting new body of work that I started working on last year that came up from my own entrepreneurial and life experiences and those of my clients and colleagues and mentors. I was seeing it all the way around. When I was talking to you about this unique combination that creates a unique contribution, I have a very unique combination. I started out as an undergrad with a degree in advertising and copywriting, and I studied consumer behavior. I really wanted a creative outlet, and that was feeding that for me at the time. I was a writer as well. Then I had some life changes. I went through a very young, very toxic divorce, and at the same time, my best friend was dying, and he had AIDS, and so I moved away from home temporarily and then never went back. And I moved into that community. I was a single mother with a two-year-old. It put me into a full-blown spiritual awakening, which has changed and shaped my entire life and everything about it. I started working as a volunteer in hospice and in healing, running some Louise Hay circles and really just getting into all of it. And my friend, he was pushing me, what do you believe? What happens when I die? What do you believe is the meaning of all of this? We were in our 20s. We weren't even 30 yet. We were very young. And so all of this really pushed me and I started realizing those gifts emerging and that I loved what I was doing as a volunteer more than what I was doing in my work. At that time, I had moved, so I had left my job, and I was freelancing, still working in publishing, working with magazines. That's mostly what I did, worked on magazines. And from that, I was guided Really, those breadcrumbs I talk about started showing up, and I ended up, I had moved near this counseling program, which was huge, and I was really guided to go and get my master's degree in counseling and follow that path, and then I went to work for a number of different nonprofits agencies, shelters, crisis centers, hospitals, worked in a psychiatric hospital, all along those lines, and then I felt like I really wasn't addressing the spiritual piece, and I felt a real calling that I had felt all my life. At that time, I was serving in my local churches and my communities, and I was called to seminary, and I went to seminary for two years, and I came out of that being a hospital chaplain. It's something that I then did as a volunteer and continue to do that in whatever community I live in as volunteer work. Kept going, finding my way, and was led, I made a huge move, and was led to stop working for other people and really bring my unique combination to the table. And I was guided to find a little house, which then fell in my lap once I said, okay, I'll do it. I didn't even know what I was going to do there. I named it Hope House. That had been with me for a long time. And I opened this community healing and wellness center. And because I was a hospital chaplain, I could do weddings and this huge wedding ministry grew. And that helped me see my public speaking and that I really loved that. And I was good at that. And I loved doing the weddings and the wedding business funded my dream until I could get the other all pulled together and it's evolved from there. I had first the expensive hobby that I had to close the doors. Then I went back a second time and created a successful holistic spa. And then I closed the brick and mortars and took my business online and global. And what I want you to see, I want you to have the context so you understand what I bring to the table for you now. Also, I want you to see 
way back when I left that toxic marriage, when I moved to be closer to my friend, when his dying put me into new work that I didn't know I loved and that I was made to do. And then all along the way, when I didn't know I was meant to be a speaker on big stages, and then I started doing weddings. All you have to do is take the next step. It won't all make sense and you won't know. The business and life I have now, I couldn't have asked for it. I couldn't have visualized it or dreamed it. It matches the essence of who I knew I am and how I knew I wanted to live, but I didn't even know it existed. So you don't know. But if I had not taken every one of those steps, because also when I moved away and left the toxic marriage and went to help my friend and settled in that community, I met my husband that I have now that I've been with for 25 years. I had one child. We went on to have two more children. I have three amazing children. And my husband and I are building this incredible life together. Every step of the way, a 25-year-old who's a single mother to a two-year-old It's not convenient, it's not logical, it's not comfortable, and it's going to cost some money, and I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I knew I had to go to where he was. I didn't know for how long, I didn't know what, and I follow those callings, and when I do, magic happens in my life and in my world, and there's some magic waiting now, and you're not following that breadcrumb, you're not taking that next step. When I talk to you about, I teach people to show up, be you and make money. And that's that whole making money piece for some people when they start making the money for other people, when they're not making the money or more money's going out than coming in, or you've got a lot of up and down, a lot of wins followed by losses. It brings up your stuff. And that's when you really have to come face to face like I did those two years ago sitting there to get me out of that chair and onto that stage to get me out of stuck and spinning at 50K to a solid six-figure business that's going to grow again and is growing again this year. I had to deal with the number one thing getting in my way, the number one barrier, and that is my emotions. I've spent my whole life training and working with people's emotions. It's something I know well, and now I'm applying it to this entrepreneurial journey, to this bringing yourself into the marketplace and creating a sustainable, profitable business. Your emotions can wreck your wealth. They have mine. They've created lots of ups and downs. They've derailed me. They've left me in a ditch or a hole. And getting a hold of them has created for me success and money and ideal clients and speaking in front of 700 people on a stage in Vegas where I could have done that all day long. I loved it. And just a few years ago, I wouldn't have even believed that I could do it. It's taking those steps. It's managing your emotions. There is a part of being in business where emotional business management comes into it. So I've created this body of work with this free assessment for you, Profitable Emotion. And I've created this whole results profile for you. So you can go to ProfitableEmotion.com, ProfitableEmotion.com, and take this assessment, and then you will get a full page report on your results. There are four different types, four different emotional clusters. They're based on the four psychological elements, the four energies in nature, and you will have a predominant one and a secondary one. What was really fun was during the event, people were taking the assessment and then they were coming up to my booth and talking to me about it, and I was really getting to see. And some people scored really close and others had wide gaps.
Some people have integrated more of these and others are really living out one or two very specifically. What the report is going to help you with is what is your profitable emotion. And it's going to identify what your true needs are how you're oriented toward interacting with other people in the world, how you're oriented to change so you can use all of this in your favor, your leadership style, your strength gaps, what is getting in your way and keeping you stuck, your warning cues, what emotional acting out is happening that you can catch yourself and you can turn it around, what is your main stumbles, And then the way to your profit breakthrough. And I give you actions to your profit breakthrough and mindset pieces to your profit breakthrough. And then I I suggest for you, I recommend for you, your first step in moving forward. And I offer for those who want it after going through this, schedule your free consultation with me and we can talk about it and we can see what resource I can be for you and how I can help. So I encourage you to go to ProfitableEmotion.com and take this assessment and really dive into this because it could make a big difference in what you have going on around you and in your world right now. Your emotions have so much effect. I've been working with this for years. And when I have control over my emotions, things come to me better and more easily and things feel better. When I lose control of my emotions and my emotions are running my actions, my thoughts, my decisions, and my business, things that I don't want to happen, happen. And actually, the more of a manifester you are, the more you can create just as much of what you do want. You can also create a lot of what you don't want. I'm going to be right back with more for you. So ProfitableEmotion.com. Get started with that. And stay with me, Michelle Barr, Sacred Business Success. The future of Internet Radio is here. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcott, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners and give a message from spirit about the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, Join Carrie each Monday at 3 p.m. on Five Nation Radio. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Have you bought into the idea that you have to work hard for your money, that business is hard? I will share some dynamic access consciousness tools to get you out of your own way so you can create a business that actually succeeds. Join me, Simone Millicis, on The Joy of Business at 4 p.m. Mondays Eastern. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Hello, hello, Michelle Barr here with you at Sacred Business Success talking about profitable emotion, my new assessment I have for you, my body of work I have for you as a next level 
for you. You go to ProfitableEmotion.com, take the assessment, and get your results, get your report, and then let's talk. Talking about emotions and what makes you profitable, I want to give you one example of the tie-in between emotions and your business, emotions and profit. This is a blog that I wrote not long ago, and so it'll give you a good idea of how this plays out, not just when you're working in your business, but when you're in your life. I talk about why I make more money in my business when I do yoga. So often I see my clients and potential clients I talk to bumping up against the same wall, then retreating. This was something I did. They think or hope that when they return to that place, the wall will be gone. It won't. It will be waiting for them until they break through it. Then. That wall will never stop them again. There was a weekend I had moved to a new community last year, getting, building new patterns, building new practices, reconnecting, finding new ways to take care of myself in this new community that I didn't know anybody. I've talked about this move before. It was a great move. I manifested this move. My husband attracted his dream job in our dream resort town where we were going to move in seven years. And we made the move. We bought our dream house on the lake And it all came together. It all flowed. And part of that was my emotions were lined up. When I went to that yoga retreat, I'm reminded again and again to pay attention to this vessel that all my work come through and to feed myself as I take care of others. This was a lesson that had been lost on me for many years, and I paid a price for it. Even knowing it, there are times I catch myself getting so busy in my business and pushing forward that I don't stop and do these things. And I'm not the only one. I will have colleagues and clients tell me when I went on vacation, when I was getting a massage, one told me just last week, three times now when I've gone out and walked around the lake, I've had money waiting when I get back. This really works. The bottom line here is when I'm in my yoga practice, I not only feel better, I do better in my business and I'm better for my clients and everyone else in my world. As I spent the day Saturday on my mat, I had a lot to work through. I felt so out of my element. I had moved from a community where I had built my business for 11 years. I had built solid networks. I had all the support in place, all the things I tell you to do. I was feeding myself spiritually. I was feeding myself emotionally, physically, mentally, all of it. When I took to that retreat... It wasn't graceful, it wasn't pretty, and my stuff came up. A lot like when I was first in business, and I still have days like this. And it got me thinking that doing that right then taught me a lot about doing my business. I laid that mat down and I got on the mat. I laid it down and I stayed on it, even when I was uncomfortable even when I didn't know if I was doing it right, even when I wanted to stop. Because I hadn't been in my yoga practice in a while. I had let it go while I was busy. I got vulnerable. I was out there in the open doing this thing. And other people were watching me. There were people who were better than me, who looked better doing what I was doing. There were people creating better results. I could not let myself get distracted by them, compare myself to them, or judge myself against them. I had to focus on me. I had to work on being better than myself in every moment. Let that land. And this was a community of people I knew were of like mind. It's a beautiful studio. I was blessed to find it. And yet I didn't know anybody there. And I am a community builder, a community connector. I'm relationship focused, 
relationship oriented is part of my profitable emotion. I'm used to being in communities where I have connection, where I know people, where I'm having this shared experience. I had to work on being better than myself in every moment. I got focused, clear, grounded, and centered. I talk a lot about this energetic stance with my clients and students. This is the place to discover within yourself and to return to over and over again. I had to focus on the moment and perform in the moment. I didn't even know what was coming next, if it would be harder or easier. I had to stay clear, shut out the mental chatter, bump up against my resistance and stay on that mat. Each time I learned something new, I executed it. That's another big one. I bumped up against my edge and it changed over and over again. I hit my edge and I pushed through it. I stretched myself and it let go. So often I see my clients and potential clients I talk to bumping up against that same wall, then retreating. I was just talking to you about that. You think or you hope that when you return to that place, the wall will be gone and it won't. It will be waiting for you. Until you break through it, then that wall will never stop you again. I celebrated my wins. A few times I slid right into a pose and everything clicked. It's a great feeling when something that was giving you so much trouble suddenly happens with grace and ease. I recognize those moments and I savor them. It's about mastery. And it takes practice to achieve mastery. You will always be mastering your craft. So get in there and stay in there and get the support and guidance you need. I rested and reflected. At the end of the day, I went into deep relaxation. I reflected on what I had just done and what I had learned. I opened to insights. I paid attention to how I was feeling. And what I was thinking. So often we let those drive us instead of taking the reins. When I'm talking to clients, I often get a visual. I'll get an image, a movie playing out in my head, and I'll speak that to them. And several times I've gotten the one where people feel like they're being dragged by a runaway horse. And the reins are flapping right there within reach, but they're saying, it's out of control. I'm being dragged. Something bad is going to happen. And I help them see if they just grab those reins, they are holding the reins and they can control it. Don't let that get out of your control. When I got up, I got up and I left it all on the mat. I was a different person at the end of the day than I was at the beginning of the day. As I shift, everything in my world shifts. And I saw that what I went through, all those ups and downs and emotionally and mentally and physically and spiritually and all those practices, that's what I go through in any given day. I will return another day and the mat will be waiting for me right where I left it. A lot of mindset work goes into my yoga practice as a lot of mindset work goes into me working my business. Every time I practice, I'm moving closer and closer to mastery of my craft. The craft I am monetizing to make a living and make a life. The life I dream of and desire. In my work with conscious entrepreneurs, I teach both the marketing to make it work and the mindset to make it happen. Both are equally important. I work on my mindset daily through my business, through living my life, and through my yoga practice. I was back on that mat in my yoga practice on Tuesday after having been gone last week. If you're ready to get on the mat, Get vulnerable, get focused, clear, grounded and centered, and start celebrating wins of your own. I invite you to connect with me and get into conversation. Go to michellebar.com. You can also reach it at fromcallingtocash.com and click on the contact tab 
and make contact with me. I would love to talk with you about how I can best serve you as your own personal sacred business success coach. Help you see where you can go, what's tripping you up. Help you take an honest look at yourself and see where you can go next for your sacred business success. I got this great article that showed up right before I was going to get on the line here. And again, it's five learnable mindsets of highly successful people. Mindsets and daily habits. How truly successful people became successful and continued to excel. And it is all about not letting your emotions drive you or your business and having control over them. In this article, they talk about successful people know and accept themselves. Successful people set goals congruent with their personality, values, interests, strengths, skills, mission, and purpose. Successful people know they have much more control over the trajectory of their lives than others realize. Successful people accept that they will repeatedly go through tough times. Successful people know that once they get to their destination, they will find another. And that's where I ended up last year when my coach said, when you wake up and you're living your dream, it's no longer your dream. And it was time to start dreaming a new dream. I got to a destination seven years early. It was time to find another destination, and that's the journey I've been on since last year, which took me into a deep dive in my work with helping you all in that next deepest level, this profitable emotions. Think about that. Think about what's calling to you, what's speaking to you, and stay with me. We've got more, and I will see you in just a minute. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.ohmtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Hey ladies, do you want to have that good hair day feeling all the time? Gentlemen, would you want your special someone to have that glow, letting you know she is feeling completely satisfied? This feeling and that glow can be yours by embracing your sexual power. So join me, Rachel Kenley, award-winning romance author, on The O-Spot. The O-Spot will guide you to that peak with guest interviews, book discussions, and conversations on the thrills of sexual empowerment. Put the zing back in your life. Come up and see me sometime on The O-Spot, live on Hump Day at 10 p.m. Eastern. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Hello, welcome back. We have been talking about profitable emotion. 
about the mindset part of the marketing to make it work and the mindset to make it happen. And you want to spend time on both of those, especially in the beginning I see with my clients. I'm very good at having clients that I help put all the pieces together, build the well-oiled machine, build the online platform, and build their online presence. So in the beginning, there are a lot of moving pieces. And yesterday, I had a client who called in for her session, and she has a lot going on. She's building a launch that's coming up very quickly, launching a new course, and she's got all these moving pieces and things. And yet, there was some emotional stuff that we had to talk about and really get to that was taking precedence. So it's about being able to work with both of those things and really understanding that. And it's a muscle. It's something you work at. And it's having coaches. I was able to reframe for her, to talk her into a different place, to help her energetically get into a different place, to ask some open open questions that would lead her to what's already inside of her that she knows and thought she didn't know. And I had people who did that for me. I had coaches who did that for me. And it is so important. So I will invite you again to go to ProfitableEmotion.com, take the assessment, get your results Look at them and then apply for your free complimentary session with me so that we can talk about this, so that we can go over it. Connect with me at from calling to cash.com or michellebar.com. Click on the contact tab. I have got interviews on there, videos, a free business building email course. I've got all kinds of resources, a free webinar. All kinds of things on there that will help you, that will help you get going, that will help you with some different things. So go there and start looking at all those, listening to them. These are your next steps that can really help move you forward. I was talking right before that last break about these mindsets. So when we have emotions that come up, we're getting triggered about certain things. And on that client call yesterday, I was also able to start pulling from her as I was listening to her. What are things that have a deep core that have always been? And then how to help her unravel that and change that so it doesn't keep triggering her and seeing where she was getting triggered with that. So that's some of the benefits that it can really help you because it put her in a different place so she could get back to the business of it. It's another thing with your emotions. If you're showing up at work, if you've had a job or you have a job, I had jobs. I have not worked for anybody else since 2006, and I love that. But having jobs, I might have had an emotional day, a fight with my husband, something goes with one of my kids, I'm just off, something's happening in my world that's taking up a lot of space, and I go to my job, and I manage it in whatever way, and I do my job, and I do my work. But when your job is to show up to the table with all of you as a helper and healer, as a counselor, as a coach, as a consultant, as a teacher on stage, as a speaker, all of those things, you've got to be able to master your emotions and be able to handle those things. Because you're showing up as you and you're bringing all of you to the table. So going to those learnable mindsets of highly successful people. Successful people know and accept themselves. They know their strengths and weaknesses. This is something the profitable emotion assessment is going to help you with. You want to know it. Know thyself. That is the first tenet in every spiritual text. Then you can accept yourself for who you are and work with and around what you have been given. You don't want to try to be something you aren't. We all have our things. 
just bringing up introverted personality. I know a lot of people who've been very successful, and I'm surprised when they say I'm really an introvert because they show up and they bring it. And so they've learned to accept and work with that and give themselves what they need where I'm very extroverted. So in Vegas, being with 700 people, including a lot of friends, I only see there once a year, colleagues, mentors, my coaches, and new people I hadn't met yet, I am energized. I am lit up the whole week where other people were finding it overwhelming or needing space. They had to manage their emotions. You don't want to spend your life fighting against it. When you look at this profitable emotion assessment, you go, yeah, that's right. These are my gifts. And remember, don't compare yourself to others. You have a unique combination that creates a unique contribution. And the more I was able to step into the marketplace with that unique contribution, that unique combination, and put voice to it and put words to it and really communicate it, the more successful and the more my business growed and the, grew and the more the right people found me. It's that important. Successful people set goals congruent with their personality, values, interests, strengths, skills, mission, and purpose. I teach people to create a vision of the life you want to live and then create a business that supports and sustains that. You have a vision, a mission, dreams, and your own truth, and you want to work with those. You have your own why. And the stronger your why is, it can get past anyhow. Again, during that conversation with that client yesterday, we really came down to one core value that she values so much that she has not been managing in her life. And we started looking at how to manage that and how it was affecting everything and throwing things off, even though she has created a large amount of success. You want to get clear on who you really are, what you value, what you're good at, and what your mission is so that you can pursue your path. You have all this potential. You have this unique combination that creates a unique contribution, and I help you discover the profitable path for your potential so you can turn your potential into profit, and that's what I did from a very expensive hobby to a profitable endeavor so that I've never had to work since 2006 for anybody else. Successful people realizing you have control, taking the reins back from that horse. You're not on a runaway horse. That is an illusion. If you're doing that, you're using it as a defense mechanism, as an excuse. Be willing to get to that. And you can't always go there yourself. You have much more control over the tra trajectory of your life then you realize you are steering your own ship. You can only control yourself. You can't control everything the world throws in your path, but you can control how you react to those obstacles. And what I have learned first as a therapist and then as a chaplain and then as a coach and a healer is it is an illusion that what is causing you pain and suffering is what other people are doing to you. The reality is, it is how you're reacting. It's how you're perceiving. It's how you're thinking about those things. So realizing and taking back that control and taking that responsibility, and that's what gives you power. You can anticipate and act before the world acts upon you. You can keep pushing forward to reach your destination. You can achieve mastery. Successful people accept that they will repeatedly go through tough times. I do. You're doing big things. The bigger the things you do. And knowing there is growth and learning. I tell people 
straight up, building your own business is the most intensive personal and spiritual growth and development course you could ever enroll in. It's true. And the payoff is out of this world. It's so worth it. And successful people know that once they get to their destination, they will find another. And that's true. Where I was leading to that I thought would take me years to get there. When you get in the flow, when you work on all these things together, and suddenly you're there, you look ahead and go, wow, what's the next part of this path? It's amazing. And I'm opening doors that I didn't even know existed. And you're following the breadcrumbs. There are breadcrumbs for you to follow right now. If you need help seeing this, getting through this, getting out of that stuck and spinning to create that business, to break the 50K barrier, to cross the six-figure line, to create a solid six-figure business, to be in profitable emotion, Go to ProfitableEmotion.com, take the assessment, then connect with me at MichelleBarr.com or from CallingToCash.com. There are resources there. My blog has lots of posts. I have video, all kinds of things for you, waiting for you at that site. I'm so glad you showed up today. Take all of this to heart. Go access my other shows in the archives. And I will talk to you again very soon. This is Michelle Barr, Home Times Radio Network with Sacred Business Success for you and me.